Here at Simply Garden, with over 50 years of gardening experience, I believe in keeping things simple and productive while gardening in your own backyard. Well, it's, it's a um, beautiful afternoon here in uh, Zone 5, Southern New Hampshire, and we are getting ready to put a certain product down on top of my, um, my fruit trees. It's called Surround at Home, and it's designed for putting a coating. It's a 100% natural clay-based product, 90% um, kaolin, which is clay, and this is used to um, coat the uh, fruit trees. At the same time, what it does, it creates a barrier and the insects are less likely to attack the fruit trees. So I'm going to put it on every, every, all the fruit trees, the apple, the oranges, the, um, the pears. Uh, the biggest thing I'm trying to control is the pum, cur I'm sorry, pum curculio. There we go. It's spelled C-R, I'm sorry, C-U-R-C-U-L-I-O. These little guys like to lay their eggs on the apples and, and I mean the cherries and the peaches and the plums. Um, so we're going to try to control that. And I'm also going to be mixing in with that a, uh, a natural fungicide. Well, these products are all from Gardens Alive again. And i um, just show you this product here. Here we go. And that's the product here. And we're going to be using that to control um, any uh, uh, fungus. Um, the miticide and also insecticide. It's all natural. Once again, we're going to mix that in and that'll help um, Control that problem too as, as the season comes along as soon as you do get the uh, the mildew the, the, the fungus is growing on the fruit trees if you get too much moisture going on. So just a precautionary thing um, This is very simple to do and I'm gonna get pull the product out here and Basically the instructions are it's a powdery substance such as this, and I'm um, going to put two cups of this per gallon of water, and so we're going to be putting on about three gallons, so we'll put six cups of this in, there's three, four, and six. There we go. All right, so we're going to put that in. I'm going to get this out of the uh, moisture. It's, going to, it's raining out a little bit. I may work, wait to put this down for a little bit. I'll just give you, show you how, how you how you get started with it. Because uh, it's still raining out. I want to wait until it's um, not raining out. So if the uh, trees have a chance to dry and this will absorb better to it because always if it hits rain while it's wet, it's going to run it right off and I waste all that product. So all we got to do is uh, just simply uh, just tell you to put the cover back on the sprayer and we're going to shake it for a good 30 seconds. Get it all moved, all dissolved inside of there. And then what I'll do is I'll come back and uh, Put, uh, put the fungicide in and throw in the full three gallons of uh, liquid. And we're going to put some water in this here, get it to the full uh, three gallon mark. Then once that's full, I'll uh, go ahead and put the, uh, the fungicide in there. There we go. And this does not hurt the bees at all because it's all uh, all natural um, including the uh, the fungicides a natural product derived too it's all for organic gardens all right get this guy here and um, so this here's a fungicide it calls for uh, two tablespoons per gallon and we'll go ahead and just uh, dump that in there There we go. All right. So we'll give that a shake and uh, 
we'll uh, head over and start spraying this. We're going to uh, spray this on here and uh, hope it doesn't clog. The only little problem is why they just get a little clogged up, but uh, the, the trees are supposed to be totally dry, no water, and they, they look good. It's, it's windy out here, so they're drying out pretty quick. We're going to do the total spray here. And um, this is kind of like a white substance. And that's all we do. That simple. And I'll come, I'll come in and out of this here. I'm not going to show you the whole time. It's going to take me about half an hour to spray the whole, uh, the whole orchard here. But I just want to basically hit everything, a uh, white coating. And it helps uh, reduce a lot of different insect problems. Which I will give a, go over a list. And actually when I do my description on my YouTube here, you'll get an idea of what exactly this protects against. Alright, so it stopped raining so I can get back to spraying this here. It's dried off well enough. And uh, this is basically giving it a nice thin coat. It doesn't have to be saturated. And you'll see how it whitens up there. And that's the protection that's going on in the leaves. I'm more concerned about protecting the fruit. There we go. I'm gonna go focus on the, uh, the plums next, and you basically this is a uh, idea that here is once again is to coat the uh, the tree, and uh, that way also the, the uh, insects won't be able to get into the uh, fruit and lay the little eggs, and then cause the production fruit to go down. So once again, it takes care of the plum curcurial. Um, which takes, which, which is tough on the cherries and on the uh, plums, and then it takes care of the uh, apple maggot. Helps reduce that, those problems with laying the eggs, and also the uh, coddling moth. Uh, peach borer takes care of that. So we'll continue on here and. It's all organic, all natural. There we go. Look at this other plum tree here. Maybe this year we'll get some plums. Last year I didn't get one off of this tree. I see a lot of uh, green plums. I'll see if I can hit it with my uh, cup right up there. Um, just saw a whole bunch in here. Here we go. See little green guys right there, right there, right there. So hopefully these uh, hang in and uh, become uh, full. Uh, you up to the full size, full, full potential. Get a few more uh, higher places taken care of on top of the tree and I think we're pretty well good. Just water the uh, wash out my tank and uh, we'll do this again in about two weeks. I recommend doing it until your fruit gets to about uh, a quarter of its size. That way it's easier to wash off later. And that's what most of the problems are at the beginning of the season anyways, most of the bugs I find. Pretty much by uh, August, the bigger bug problems have already been uh, set in place. If you, if you didn't address them early enough, they've already laid their eggs. Uh, I'm sure in some markets you probably get multiple egg cycles. I think that's with the, um, um, the apple maggots. I think they get maybe two cycles I'm not sure about the uh, the uh, the fly, the uh, moth. But I know the apple maggots have two cycles. So that's those heat yellow traps down there take care of that problem pretty much with the lures I put on those, which I have addressed in a previous uh, YouTube that talks about apple maggot traps and also putting up the um, the um, the moths, coddling moths, 
um, which these traps are for, right, the green ones. I also have a lure inside the track and there's a sticky trap substance inside that tracks it to it and they get stuck, they don't get out. So that pretty much wraps up for this today. And uh, if you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe. We'll be doing a garden update later on in the week. I already took pictures, took video on it, just need to get it uploaded. Got a few other things ahead of it. And uh, enjoy gardening or enjoy watching the YouTubes. And uh, thank you for subscribing.